You are from, Good to be uh, with you. you know, you're from the Houston area where little Jocelyn Nungary was murdered by illegal immigrants. So you're well aware of the impact on your own constituents. Uh, what's your reaction to not only the flooding of the migrants into the area, but the money kickbacks, accusations of human trafficking? Yes, uh, I mean, that Springfield uh, issue, I mean, very, very interesting what's taking place there. I know you talked a little bit about Jocelyn Nungary with, with that's Senator, Senator Ted Cruz's legislation in the Senate. And I was so proud to carry it here on the House side. We should be moving on that very quickly. But the, the number of migrants that are coming across our southern border, Haitians and everything. But what's sad is that we know that there are many Venezuelans. So Jocelyn, that young lady was killed by uh, individuals from Venezuela. Uh, and they were just some very bad hombres. You look at Lake and Riley. She was also murdered. That college student also murdered by a Venezuelan. And so we got a lot of individuals coming up through our southern border. That, and they're bad. They're, they're gang members. Tren de Agua is a, is a very violent gang. You've seen what they've done in Aurora, Colorado and other communities taking over entire apartment buildings and stuff. And, and so this is the Biden-Harris administration. So What do you think needs to be done, you know, first to reverse all of this uh, if Trump can uh, get back in office? Oh, it's got to be Donald Trump. He's the only one that can save our country. He, he really is. And what do we got? A little less than 50 days away before we bring Donald Trump back. I think if you look at the polling and everything else, listen, Kamala Harris is not the answer, and the Democrats really didn't even want her. She turned from zero to hero. She was zero to hero overnight in the Democrat Party. She never even made a vote in Iowa. Nobody's ever voted for this gal. So obviously they did the coup d'etat on Joe. They brought in Kamala Harris because the left is controlled by the extreme socialist party on the left. And so they brought her into this thing now. And, uh, and I think Donald Trump has a good chance of getting the White House back because her policies, or lack thereof, don't put the American people first. She's tied to Joe Biden. We have a crisis on every corner, and she is the border czar. She's the border czar. The inflation is out of control. The crime's out of control. The American people see it, and they're going to reelect. We're going to get Donald J. Trump back in the White House, and he can put the crisis out. He can put the fires out across our nation and across the globe, quite honestly, with all the instability we're seeing in the Middle East and everywhere else.